Hello, my name is Whitney Barkley, and I'm a millennial career blogger for therightgirlblog.com. I'm also experienced in career coaching for nonprofits. Today I'm talking to you about how to build your personal brand. Your personal brand is really something that is your personal resume, and it's the things that will allow people to see you for who you are and your expertise. It's very important for you to get involved in is LinkedIn. LinkedIn probably in the last two years have become really one of the most popular outlets for people to connect with other professionals. So whether you're a job seeker or of course you're trying to build your influence in an industry, LinkedIn is definitely a great tool to tap into. Now on LinkedIn, you wanna make sure that you have a completed profile so that I of course make sure so of course make sure that you have a profile picture because people um, nine times out of ten they do not want to connect with a person who is an avatar. So it's very important that you have a professional picture. Um, if you can, go to a professional photographer and ensure that you can kind of get that professional look that you're seeking. In addition to that, you want to make sure that your LinkedIn personal link is actually personalized. Um, there is a way that you can go into your settings and make sure that when people go to LinkedIn.com, they can actually click on your particular name and a Google search will actually pull up your name when they, someone does a search on you as well. In addition, on LinkedIn, it's very important to fill out your summary portion. Now that summary really defines your personality, your experiences, and the reason that you're actually on LinkedIn. Whether you're just on LinkedIn to connect, or if you want to share uh, articles within the industry, or if you are actually a job seeker, the summary is really where you capture what you're trying to do. But you want to be sure that your summary is brief and it's not too long, as you're able to elaborate on your experiences in the work experience section. Also on LinkedIn, you want to make sure that you involve yourself with groups. Um, groups are another way to get involved with other people who are in your industry and to create conversations as well. I would recommend that you only join groups that you highly know that you're going to be active in. Uh, don't join groups just to have groups on your profile because it makes your profile look kind of weighed down and it's very important that you know you're being active within these groups and you're letting everyone know what you are doing. Um, in addition to the groups, make sure the most important thing probably is to seek recommendations from your colleagues, former bosses, or professors, or people who really can recommend your work. A recommendation can go a long way on LinkedIn because usually most employers, um, I would say about 70% of employers are actually doing a Google search or a LinkedIn search to see what type of person you are and what your work ethic is like. So it's important that you reach out to these individuals and have them give you those recommendations. Now, LinkedIn has a very generic recommendation, but you really wanna make sure that they're elaborating on the things that you want them to. So if you say, hey, Mary Jane, I really would love for you to recommend me on the project that we worked on together, or I really want you to highlight some of my skills and abilities when we worked at XYZ Company. These are the things that will really propel you and show people kind of a diversity in your experiences. So recommendations are another thing as well. Now, another thing that LinkedIn has introduced earlier this year um, is actually the ability to publish blogs. Now before, only influencers were the only people who actually could go on LinkedIn and create blog posts. Now the platform has become open. As of right now, you have to apply to get a blog, but it's well worth the effort. Um, once you apply for a blog, this is a great way to kind of showcase your thoughts in the industry as well. Um, blog posts are popularly shared. And if you're familiar with the LinkedIn Pulse, which is kind of LinkedIn's uh, way of populating blog posts from influencers and people who are writing on LinkedIn, um, that's a great thing to add to your resume as well because the LinkedIn cost is accessed by over 2 million people. One thing that I do want to mention is when you're on LinkedIn, you don't want to connect with everyone. Everyone is not a great connection. Sometimes you'll connect with people and they may try to sell you something or it may be someone who may try to get you involved in a scam. Believe it or not, it happens on LinkedIn as well as other social networks, so be wary. Um, I believe that quality is better than quantity when you're on LinkedIn. So really look for the quality of people that you are trying to connect with.